Ja. So that looks pretty good. Today we're here in order to demonstrate these LED flashing lights. This is a Nylite red and white 54 LED emergency service vehicle deck or grill system. The kit, which you can purchase on Amazon and will include a link on the bottom of this video, comes with these sets of lights here. Half of them are red and half are white. You'll see later on in this video. Mounting hardware wiring extensions basically it's got a male and female end on the each of on each of these is about four foot to six foot worth of cable on each lead and they just unplug and go in between these connections here you've got your controller box which is right here it's got a master power switch and then it's got abc for your settings and we'll demonstrate those right here. We've got it currently wired up to a charging system. It's only on two amps and it will still trigger the entire system just fine. So button out is off, button in is on. It has an indication LED. It will not initialize the lights until you punch one of the three buttons. Button A is wigwag. Button B is alternating flash. And button C is steady flash. And off. Now one thing to note is that if you have this system on as it is now, and you disconnect power and then reconnect power, it will not initialize the lights. If you have lights initialized and you disconnect power and you reconnect power, it will not initialize the lights again until you push one of the three choices. Therefore, unfortunately, this system does need to be mounted within the cab of the vehicle to access. We're going to be installing this on a service vehicle. Do keep in mind, these can be illegal depending on your state's regulations. We're currently installing this on a fire emergency vehicle, and we have all legal documentation to be able to do such. Make sure you check with your regulations. Yeah. So that looks pretty good. Although, I think maybe we might need some on the mud mower next. Who knows? All right, so we've got everything all hooked up. I figured I'd just give you a run through while it's on the truck after having shown you how the setup is outside of it. First of all, you're gonna have to find a constant power lead. If your battery's close to the cab of the truck, it's pretty easy. If it's not, most likely your engine management fuel panel is probably closer to the cab. It's going to look something like this panel. This panel here and this panel here and control all your fuses and relays and everything. On these panels you'll find coming in a large red wire. This actually connects directly to your battery. So you should just be able to terminal off the end of one of those. From there, you also have all of your lights that are connected up in front. The cabling that came with this was about six feet worth of cable for each individual light. Unfortunately, on this really large SUV, going from here all the way back into the cab and up to the dash was just plain too far for this series of lights over here. So I ended up having to solder on about a foot and a half of extra wiring for each of these. And now it goes across, comes up over this area here, drops down in, and goes through a handmade grommet. 
For those who don't know how to make your own grommets, it's easy enough. Just take and drill your hole through, cut off a piece of rubber hose about that long, cut an edge, cut down one side of the edge, and then clamp that around your wiring as it goes through the steel. Slide it up in an RTV seal and around the outside. Makes your own custom grommet. So from the inside, we have our control mounted right here. On this Dodge Durango, there actually was a factory spot here. Um, our guess is it was probably there to add in some sort of accessory. So we popped out the back piece, mounted this. There's industrial Velcro up above it, so it's easily removed. And down in underneath, and down in underneath, if we can get a light up here, you'll see where we came through the firewall with the homemade grommet right there. So gonna need to tie some cables up, get them all out of the way. But there you go, that's the basic install on how to do these lights. Hope this is helpful for you. And if you get a chance, come support my mud mower on the side. Have fun, guys.